The saga of top golf for Oxmoor Center appears to be heading out of the 18th green. A Metro Council committee meets tomorrow afternoon. The first steps that could lead to full approval of the big entertainment complex. That's right. The committee will discuss the proposal for Oxmoor Mall Center at 1.30 during a meeting at City Hall. If it gets this group's OK, then it will head for a full Metro Council vote. And our news partners at Louisville Business First say that could happen before the end of the month. This Top Golf initiative is just the latest move for mall owners. Malls, you know, used to be the place to be, but times have changed. They aren't as popular now. The bottom lines show it, so companies are re-energizing those big spaces. Yeah, and the three malls in Louisville are doing just that. Here to talk about this trend, Marty Finley, a reporter with our news partner, Louisville Business First. You've been working on this cover story for a while, and so we talk about Top Golf. Dave and Buster's, and then you have something with bowling at Jefferson yeah, it, Mall. It's a concept called Round One Bowling and Amusement. It's going to be opening on November 17th, so we've got a grand opening coming up here in just a week or so. That's been in the works for several months alongside Dave and Buster's and Top Golf, and uh, it will just add another little bit of a experiential uh, type of establishment there at Jefferson Mall. So, Marty, what killed the malls? I mean, I, <coughs> Oxmoor and Mall St. Matthews were the places at one time in this town. Well, you know, one thing it's really hurt. It's not the only problem, but is 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 online shopping and this the change in demographics and trends as people get younger, they they want to shop online. Or you're seeing people more going to more different these smaller retailers, um, more boutique type of retail. Easier so, in and out. So yeah, so the big the big big box uh, retail department store is just just kind of suffering nationwide. We're seeing that with the Sears bankruptcy. Macy's has closed something like 80 plus stores nationwide. So. That big box is just really struggling to kind of change with the times. Let's talk about Top Golf because at Oxmoor they came in and said this is the spot. They really mm -hmm. didn't want any other one mm -hmm. places to even be looked at. What was it about Oxmoor that they said this is perfect for us? You know their um, their actual like criteria is is confidential, but in talking to real estate brokers who really understand the retail landscape, they said they totally understand how Top Golf wants that spot just because of the density there at Oxmoor Mall and the traffic and all the vehicles and people that come in and out of that spot. It's one of the best spots. They argue not only in Louisville, but in the entire state of Kentucky in terms of retail. So after all this battling over Top Golf, what's your feeling? Do you th would it yeah. be highly unlikely that Metro Council would say no to this? Yeah, I don't see that happening. I see this going, you know, there might be a couple votes against it at the Metro Council level. I see the, it going through the committee tomorrow. That's at the Planning and Zoning Committee there at 1.30. And then we're hearing it might be as early as November 29th, which would be the next Metro Council vote. We're also seeing Dave and Buster's, like you said, the round one with mm -hmm. the bowling. Is it enough to save malls? Is it enough to kind of re-energize? That's one question I asked of different people I talked to, including some of the mall owners, is this enough? And they said, no, it's it's something that it kind of works in hand with other small retail restaurants, but also they're even seeing co-working spaces, some small uh, residential, like some apartments, You're seeing that actually At going the to malls, malls. In the malls. And even grocery stores are kind of setting up shop in, in malls across the country. We talked to the owner CBL and also the International Council of Shopping Centers who said, you know, co-working spaces is the big thing now they're staying. Interesting. Since you cover land uh, planning, zoning, and land development use, I want to ask you about a development on election night. We mm -hmm. saw an original Metro Council member, original since merger, mm -hmm. pro-development uh, council member, Glenn Stuckel, defeated in eastern Jefferson County after mm -hmm. all those years. Mm -hmm. Residents have been pushing back against the un <coughs> unchecked growth in his district. Mm -hmm. What message do you think that uprising from, from an uh, upstart candidate mm -hmm. who defeated him. It's hard to say on the one because we've not seen a more, you know, it's more widespread, but I definitely see just in my reporting on Top Golf and other developments like Kevin Cogan's development at Lexington and Grinstead that there's a kind of a push and pull within the city between those who kind of like Louisville as it is or doesn't want to see this dense growth and then those primarily within the business community especially that really want to see Louisville take that next stop step, be a be an Austin or be a Denver or take that next step into the into the next level of city. Right. So there's malls, definitely a push and pull there. But malls by themselves not going to make it without something inventive. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Marty. From Louisville Business First, glad to have you with us again.